Okay, Greg. Maybe people don't know what the journey to Memphis is. So why don't you explain it one more time. Okay, the journey to Memphis is our regional competition to send acts back to the International Blues Challenge in Memphis, Tennessee, which will take place uh, the week of uh, January 21st. Uh, this is coming to 2014, and what happens is they get uh, affiliate uh, blue societies from around the world sending acts there. We had 20, 226 acts last year on 15 stages on Blue wow. Street, and uh, we, we start our competition in June. We do a round, and we do it for two nights, and two top scores from each night go to the finals here at the Waterfront Blues Festival. So who's in the finals this year? Okay, this year is uh, really unique. We have three bands and one solo duo. Huh. The solo duo is already guaranteed to go back to Memphis. He's competing here to to win the grand prize, the money to go back. And that's Tevis Hodge Jr. He's a really cool acoustic player. I introduced him last night at our membership meeting as a, a young man with an old blues soul. He's really huh. good. The other three acts are are also unique because they've all been to Memphis for us before. Uh, the Mojo Blasters have two members, uh, Leon Holder and Richie Bean, who were with the first act we sent to Memphis about 14 years ago. That was the Hudson Rocket Band. And we've got Lisa Mann and a really good band back this year. Wow. They were there two, three years ago. Mm -hmm. And Ben Rice Band. And Ben went back in 2007, I want to say, and did really well back there, too. All right. Well, that's a, it's a, it's a, this, is a, this is a pretty prestigious thing for these, these bands. I, I know they take it very seriously. Well, yes. I mean, yeah. there's no other place you can go to if you're a band than the International Blues Challenge from that. Everybody in the industry there. Yeah. Festival promoters, agencies, uh, publicists, uh, festival people. I mean, they're playing in front of everyone. Record labels. And, and uh, it can really amount to something. There's been some big time winners back there that have gone on to really good success. We've got two acts at the waterfront this year that are former IBC winners. We have a uh, last year's solo duo winner, Ray Bonneville, mm -hmm. who's a great acoustic player out of Canada, I want to say. And then from Florida, this year's band winner, the Selwyn Birchwood Band, they mm -hmm. play on Sunday, and they're fantastic. So who are the judges? Uh, I didn't set up the judges myself, so I can't, <laughs> I can't say that right now. I'll know them when they get there. <laughs> I, I let the board members uh, select the judges this uh -huh. year, but they're all people that are not familiar with the band, so it, uh, it gives uh -huh. a fresh take. Well, it's always a treat, you know, and it's, it, it always it, it kicks off the festival, and, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Thanks a lot, Greg. You bet. Anytime. Thanks.